President Trump today congratulated our first guest tonight, who's been at the forefront of the efforts to uh, reveal the deep state. The president tweeting this, it is the 25th anniversary of a great organization run by people who truly love our country. At Judicial Watch, on behalf of all Americans, I thank them at Tom Fitton. And joining us tonight, Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch. And congratulations. Good to have you with us. Hey, thank you, Lou. Let, let's start with Dan Coates out, Ratcliffe in. Your thoughts? Well, uh, Dan Coates, you know, was kind of AWOL on uh, cleaning out the Office of Director of National Intelligence that uh, was uh, in many ways deep state central in terms of protecting Hillary Clinton, believe it or not, while targeting uh, President Trump. And uh, just generally speaking, the Office of Director of National Intelligence is this extra bureaucracy that was created that doesn't really add anything to the national security of the United States. So Ratcliffe, if he comes in, should come in not only to clean house, but to uh, pare back the works there uh, and think about curtailing uh, the powers and the bureaucracy there that's unneeded. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's curious as to whether or not he even has that power, uh, even though that was the thoughts of, uh, the thoughts of many of those who created the DNI, uh, that uh, it would be a coordinating uh, and a, a and uh, bringing everyone together uh, effort, uh, it really doesn't show any signs of being uh, in charge of the intelligence community uh, over which it is supposed to be, uh, if you will, presiding, if not directing. Uh, your thoughts here uh, on uh, Radcliffe and his uh, talent and ability to get that done? Well, he certainly understands about the crisis caused by the weaponization of the intelligence agencies to target uh, President Obama's political enemies, uh, namely President Trump and then candidate Trump. And uh, I hope he takes an aggressive look at this. Uh, at the same time, these same agencies were bending over backwards to protect uh, Hillary Clinton and, frankly, the rest of the Obama administration from the consequences of her illegal email activities or her mishandling of classified information. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I see Devin Nunes is out there talking about these agencies coming clean. You know, we're, you know, we're still being stonewalled on a lot of these issues and documents, so uh, yeah, he may I, know things in the classified setting we don't, but there's got to be a public reckoning in terms of getting these documents out there. In two sentences juxtaposed, Devin Nunes seemed to say that they haven't gotten what they need from the CIA, but then said they had come clean, yet uh, reserving some space for John Brennan. Uh, I was a little confused uh, by his answer. A, a, look, a CIA that had John Brennan as its head, uh, it's pretty clear Brennan was one of the uh, uh, key guys pushing this fraudulent dossier. A, and frankly, you know, this whole Russiagate scandal and the idea of the Russians, Russians interfering mm -hmm. in our elections, uh, you know, I, I don't trust anything those agencies have said about it. It's not to say the Russians weren't trying to interfere in our elections. But their motives and the specifics, uh, given the politicization of that under Obama and such, uh, they, they got to go back to square one on these issues, in my view. Yeah, square one. Unfortunately, I think we're going to stay at square one for a while because there's so many levels, as you well know, uh, and, and directions for them to, uh, to uh, proceed. Uh, one of the areas is why in the world uh, did uh, the White House seem to have so much interest in what became a campaign of spying against the Trump presidency as well as the campaign and to what degree was the president himself aware and instructive in that uh, in that uh, illicit uh, campaign uh, and secondly why is it with so much concern about Russian uh, quote unquote meddling in our cam uh, campaigns and elections why was it that he did not order more done something done in response to both the cyber attacks of Russia, of China, and others, as well as the Russian uh, intervention in our campaign. It, he did nothing. Well, the simple answer to that is, at the time, they didn't consider it a big deal, and only after President Trump was about to win and after he won mm -hmm. did that become in their political interest to make it a big deal. Uh, this is one of the reasons I think their whole analysis of the involvement of the Russians in our campaigns uh, can't be trusted because it was so politicized. 
so politicized, and uh, it is going to be a tough, tough challenge for uh, the Attorney General William Barr to uh, to bring uh, these agencies to heel, because that's precisely what must be done if we're to ever have confidence in these organizations and agencies ever again. Uh, Tom Fenton, thanks for your uh, all your work and your organizations uh, in that effort, and. Uh, uh, Happy 25th. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Hey, you're welcome, it. Lou. Thank you very much.